Good morning, everybody. It is bright and early. Uh, what is today? Wednesday morning. Um, you may be thinking to yourself, Abby, you sound like you just rolled out of bed five minutes ago. Well, there's a very good reason for that, and it is because I just rolled out of bed five minutes ago. But, we have three loads of pigs back to back starting at 5.45 this morning, so we're gonna get those going. Everybody, welcome to another episode of Fall Farmathon 2024. It is another day of corn harvest. I do not know what episode of Farmathon this is. Uh, we're just rolling with it. We are at the point where I really, I'm doing really good if I know what day of the week it is, which I think today is Wednesday. So we're calling this a success. Um, we had an early morning this morning. We had three loads of pigs back to back starting at 5.45 this morning, we got those loaded up. I tell you what, when I woke up at 5.30 this morning and it, I was not looking forward to getting out of my nice warm cozy bed to go out to the cold to load pigs, but we got out there, we got it done. They were very mean this morning. The pigs were not working with us but we got it done uh both buildings over at papa's and granny's are cleaned out empty so they're actually going to be pressure washing those out tomorrow um and then we have another load of pigs at our building here on the farm tomorrow as well so going to get those two buildings cleaned out going to get another load taken out of this building to work towards getting that empty so that's an update on the hog houses and then a little harvest update we are it took us we didn't get started in the field until about noon or so because we had some work to do over the hog houses to get the curtains working because the cable broke on that and they needed to be closed up because we have the sprinklers running inside there to get everything soaked down good today so that it's easier to clean out tomorrow um and then they got started in the fields so they're doing that now there isn't much for uh us to do it's just dad's running the combine papa's running the auger cart got granny running the auger and to run the corn into the bin then other than that there's not a lot going on so we're just kind of on standby to help with anything uh that there is to do but been kind of chill for us so we are down here at the pond do a little bit of fishing. It's been a while since we did any fishing. Maybe something will be biting. We'll see. Hopefully we'll catch something. So we're gonna try this out, see what we can do. Well, bad news y'all. I have not caught any fish, which is very disappointing, but it's still a beautiful day and the pond is so pretty. So it's still been a very enjoyable time. Eliza is looking through little shells and stuff. Let's see if we can find anything it's interesting in there. It's mostly just rocks, but there's like a little worm thing that she was thought was a leech, but I, I don't know what that is. So her rocks that she has collected. Yeah, there we go. You can find little snail shells and stuff sometimes too in there but yeah anyways no luck fishing so far um so probably gonna be heading back up pretty soon and just not doing a whole lot for the rest of the afternoon because there's not a whole lot to do but hopefully we'll get quite a bit of harvest done today this is the field they're working on at the moment so they got that field done today. It's about 12 acres and then they've been working on end rows and some shorter rows on this field. Good morning everybody. 
the, the thing came off the rails again, Emma. We're gonna have to fix it. This door needs fixed because the you have to open it from a certain end and if it gets open from the other end then you can't get it closed. So we gotta get that fixed here. But um, yeah, it's gonna be another day of harvest today. Hopefully, if everything goes well, today will be like the second to last day of harvest for 2024. Um, and then tomorrow we'll be getting things wrapped up. So that is the plan. If things go smoothly and we don't have any breakdowns, that's probably what will end up happening, but we'll just kind of see. And yeah, we're over here to do barn chores right now. It is a chilly fall morning, but it's a very nice October morning right now. And we're gonna get barn chores done. They're gonna head home and get started for the day. It's Emma. I'll show you guys what we do to get this door to open. Most of the time it works fine as long as you open it from that end, but it got somebody opened it from this end and then it gets stuck. We just gotta fix it sometime. We just haven't gotten around to it yet. There we go. Here are the little sheep. Here's Nala. Get these guys turned out for the day. Good morning, everybody. Let me give y'all like the full update because I didn't give too much of an update yesterday. I wanted to kind of be able to get some things figured out so I actually know what I'm telling you guys. So we had just gotten started yesterday morning. We were working on the first pass on a field and the uh, end row on the left side plugged up and stopped running which it has done a couple times this year. Usually you just uh, slowly start it back up or you have to reverse it. It'll get itself figured out. It did not get itself figured out this time. Uh, we tried for a little bit, wasn't working. So we got out to look at it and you saw what we found. Uh, this was, where did it go here? This was completely snapped off, broken. Um, and that went right there. So it was pretty bad. You can see where it broke right there. Uh, it looked pretty bad. Definitely wasn't going to be running anytime soon. So we brought it up here to the lean to. We got it torn apart, looked at it. Um, and it, yeah, it's a pretty nasty breakdown right here. Uh, this snapped off of there, messed that up a little bit. And then this is where that piece goes snapped off in there so we have to get that out We're trying to get this plate off right now and i think there's some like part of a gearbox in there that we have to replace so yeah quite a mess and definitely not what we were hoping for on um, like the we have the potential to get done with harvest in about two days but that definitely set us back some. So I'm not sure if we're gonna even be able to get this combine running today um, or 
yeah, I don't know if we're even going to combine any before next week. We'll just kind of have to see. But after calling around, doing some research, Dad and Papa went to Fairfield, Iowa yesterday, which is about a two-hour drive away. Um, and they got some stuff. So they got a new chopper thing. Um, then this, it's used, but it should work because the used one is what was available. Um, and then a few little things here that you can see. So we got some new stuff. Hopefully this is going to get us back up and running. We honestly don't know. We are kind of hoping yesterday that somebody could actually come here to work on this or at least kind of help us figure it out because repairing all this ourselves is not super fun and you have to figure out how it works what's wrong what to get how to take it all apart and then remember how to put it all back together so not super fun but nobody was available to come out here and look at it so we're doing it ourselves as we do most breakdowns but uh we'll see how this goes we got some stuff here uh got it all torn apart there's pieces everywhere got all kinds of tools spread out here and got this and this and these are the new parts even though that one's used that we got yesterday to hopefully get this thing back up and running so we will see how this goes and I will keep you guys updated. y'all it has been a long day of a repair on this thing we started first thing this morning and yeah it is now what time is it quarter till three it's been a long day and not a fun repair i haven't taken a ton of footage because most of the time when it's something that i would like to record i'm busy so i can't record but yeah we're gonna try it now and just hope that like it doesn't start flying apart as soon as it gets turned on if something's not lined up right or whatever hopefully it'll work correctly but i'm just gonna start it up and hope that blades don't go flying off everywhere But well. Hey. Hello, everybody. It is now about a quarter after five. We are calling it a day. Uh, it has been a long day today. It's been a good day in that we, that 24 hours ago, we did not know if we were going to be able to get the combine fixed before next week. But we got it done today and we're able to harvest some. So 
it was a good day, it was a long day, and it was not a fun day. Uh, that repair was not a fun repair, and, but we got it done, and we're very glad that we were able to find the part that we needed. Um, it was, we ended up getting it used, but it works, and it's running good, so we are thankful for that. And we are back to corn harvest, so, um, yeah, it was not a fun breakdown. For a while there, we did not know how it was going to be to repair ourselves and all that, but got it figured out, got it repaired, got it running again, and got some corn harvested today. So, we will be back to harvest tomorrow. I uh, hope you all have been enjoying Fall Farmathon. We are coming to the end Hopefully, we could like break down again and then stay broke down for a long time. But hopefully, we are nearing the end of harvest. And thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.